So Flavia's birthday was a couple of days ago and I bought her these beautiful Puma sneakers in pink because she's a Barbie. How gorgeous are these guys? I hope she loves them and yeah, they should fit because I know her size. So I just need to put them in this paper bag. I found a red paper bag that I'm going to use and get some tissue and we are all set and ready to give to girl. What's up cuties? It's your girl Alyssa coming at you with another weekly vlog. Now it's the morning of and I am super super tired but I'm rushing out. Obviously I am a bit late because I have quite a few stops today. I have to start at Santon and collect some clothes from Scotch and Soda. I told you guys about Scotch and Soda like you guys will see when we get there but also I have an event at Mall of Africa that I'm attending with my friend Kayla um, it's a Mac event so super excited and I'm running late for that so I don't know how I'm gonna maneuver around and if I'm gonna shop for five minutes which we know is impossible but we'll make it work right um, I'm gonna quickly show you guys my outfit and then we can go Ugh, these pants keep falling but here is my outfit for the day how cute top from jlux label um white shorts from zara shoes from she in and 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 you guys already know everything else i also have flavia's gift here because i will be dropping it off after everything so let's go because we're late shape because I always get it wrong so hopefully today I got it right I was like just a little dab here a little dab there but my makeup is always either too dark or too light so it's a little tricky and sometimes I have to mix it I'm still mixing it's the worst
when can we do our nails at the same salon? Perfect 10! Yes! Second person! There's no one else who goes to Perfect 10 except for today! <laughs> Not that I know how it what works. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I like, what does it mean? It's for you, babe. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Just got home and the first thing I had to do was take off my heels. Look at my feet, they're swollen. They're so swollen. I'm telling you, walking around a mall with heels, bad idea. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm home. Um, I decided I'll go to Flavia's place tomorrow. Um, yeah, because I had to come back home. But anyway, I'm just going to show you guys what I got from Mac. It's really not, not major. I mean, it was just an activation. So, um, because they couldn't tell, so they, di they didn't fix my problem. Because I asked them, what is my actual shade? Because guys, I always get my shade either too dark or too light. Um, and that's why right now I'm just using the skin tint from Maybelline because before I used to use um, the MAC NC25 um, so I don't know if that's my shade or is it too dark or is it too light I don't know what the gist is so better this new uh, MAC Radiance uh, MAC, MAC Studio MAC Studio Radiance Ooh. Um, is darker than the MAC Studio Fix so that is why they used a 14.5 on me but they also gave me an 18 and those two are far apart so I don't know also which one is which this, the top one looks like the 14 right and the 
bottom one looks darker it looks like the 18 so I don't know which shade I am but we'll find out um, and then they gave me two uh, eyeshadow palettes um, we have these two colors very very cute I'll be trying those out and then I also got um, this satin lipstick so yeah that's basically what I got from them and yeah guys I'm gonna get out of this outfit it was cute but it's time to get out of it and relax I'll check you guys later what's up guys um it is a saturday morning um the rugby finals are tonight and everyone is going insane um i must be honest though i haven't been following the rugby matches um i think i only started watching last week um the semi-finals because i was like what we made it no, shout out to the boys um, they're doing so great and I know they're gonna take it again I mean they're definitely gonna take it again um, so I was hoping to host like a rugby watch party tonight at my place but I realized this is what I realized guys I have all the streaming services and I cut DSTV Simply because it was a thousand rands. I'm sure now it's like 1.2 or whatever, but anyway It was a thousand rands plus Apple plus all these other ones. It wasn't gonna work. So we decided to cut um, DSTV. I watch it on my laptop like DSTV online, but it's not connected to my TV um, So that's the tricky part. I can't host a watch party thing. Um, someone else has to host it. Um, and the plan was to go to um, Lebu's place and watch it there with everyone else. But of course, of course, there's also the Casper concert, Casper and Nas DC concert. So my boyfriend got a call. Let me actually just start with my face. My boyfriend got a call from his boys and um, they were basically saying they haven't seen each other in such a long time and they want to hang as boys so um, that simply means that he won't be around um, and yeah I guess that just cancels the whole rugby plan right um, and I guess it's fine. I mean, I wasn't really committed to the idea. Um, I'll probably still watch online by myself. Um, and just see, like, if we make it. Um, yeah, but it, I guess it's not going to be the vibe that I had hoped for. Um, but besides that... Um, I'm going to do a few things that I was supposed to do yesterday and never got around to doing it because, yeah. So we're just going to go to Santon, um, get like an outfit and then, and then go to Flavia's house to drop off her gift. And then I'm just going to come back home and then he's going to go show with his boys and tint that concert. Oh, that is so refreshing. Mm. Just feels so good on my skin. Um, and what else? Besides that, I am so tired. I think something's in the air. Like, I have such weird fatigue. It's so crazy. But also, like, you see who I can't sleep. Um, because, uh, I don't know, my thoughts are just all over the place. I have serious anxiety at night, so I can't sleep. And then during the day, I am sleepy and tired. It's 
just not a good look, you know, as you can see. The eye bags, the dark circles are hollering, and <laughs> it's not a good look for you, girl. Where did I put the sponges? Let me go get the sponges. Nobody gonna do what I want to. Nobody gonna do what I want to. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm actually not gonna do like a full makeup routine. I'm just here chatting to you guys quickly and then I'll show you guys. The finished product. So what this does is it's color correcting all these dark circles that I have. And hopefully I won't look this tired after when I'm done. We hope, we can only hope. I think I put on too much, eh? Anyway, Woo. Um, so I'm going to try, I don't know which one I should try. Since I'm really not going anywhere fancy, I'm going to try one of the MAC foundations that I got from MAC yesterday and see, is it my shade, is it not? If it's not my shade, then we're going to mix it with the other one. Where's the other one? Oh, right here. If it's not my shade, yeah, I'm going to mix it with the other one. So let us see. The first one is, um, so this is the new MAG. Studio Radiance and this light one is the 14 the NC 14.5 which sounds super light and I don't know this is the light one right yeah that's the light one and then the darker one is the 18 so I want to see it does look a little light me yeah it's it's a tad light um maybe let's mix it with the 18. ah i see the 18 is more on the mm. the 18 you know, not very strong yet, eh? but i guess when i mix them it will give me something close. Can you guys see? I actually have my mirror off. Let's see. Oh, child. Does this look like my shade or am I forcing things? It looks orangey to me. Maybe I shouldn't have mixed them, no? Let me see, I'm gonna compare to my skin tint. I keep going. Anyway, just gonna continue putting on the foundation and I'll have a copy. Okay, so I am done. Um, just gonna have some leftover pizza. Thank you, babe, for not eating it. 
Um, yeah, just gonna warm up some pizza and then I think we can go. Oh my mama, oh my good, I look good, I look good. Are you going to take us to London? I don't know. Take us to London and vlog. I don't know. No, baby, you need to promise. Promise them. No. <laughs> promise them. No, Why to, not? What are you trying to do? Why not? It would be nice. Let me wipe them for you. A London takeover. I mean, uh, yeah. A London vlog. I'll take the cuties international, babe. Babe, babe, I'm serious. I'm not doing this YouTube thing. You're trying to get me out of all my shows. I, they just want to see one take over, like. Just I'll take, I'll take a reel. No, we don't want a reel. We want a video, a vlog where you're like, "What's up, cuties?" No, today. No, see, that's exactly what. Listen, I want. listen, where you're like, "What's up, cuties?" So today we're headed to London. I'll think about um, it. Come through. So, so you promise? I'll think about it. I was like, you're actually showing your age. Guys, we're talking about love is blind and I just wanted to include you in this conversation. <laughs> She's busy getting her makeup done. I'm getting my makeup you know, did. <laughs> and, you know, doing all the things. Putting a face on because, yeah. We're gonna go I'm see. hanging out the fun is No, because we're gonna like, go see her people. I don't so. look like her assistant. <laughs> <laughs> that time she had makeup the on my already. Brain puts on me. <laughs> so I just wanted you guys to just listen to this whole situation, Yabo Milton, Yabo Mang Mang, because it's it's a real thing. It's serious. And I've been wanting to break this down. Like every single time I'm out here talking to not even talking like commenting on like all these tiktoks where they're busy talking about what happened how it happened and things like that okay so, so my first question to you is worst to okay least favorite to oof, they're all not favorites okay um, least worst to the worst worstest. <laughs> the worst worst of them for me is definitely um, Lydia. Who's okay. your worst? Who's your number one enemy on the show? <laughs> my number one enemy is Lydia, and then my number two enemy is the guy who with the weird teeth. Kept on telling me, he told teeth? me what you call that she, she puts too much makeup on. Oh no! What's his name? JP! JP! <gasps> JP! I forgot about JP! <laughs> <laughs> what uh, was the girl's name again? I don't know what the girl's but name is. But she was is. better than me because she stayed way too long. Yo, JP! JP! A creep! Yo, he made me cringe every single is time that, they had a conversation. He's like, no, but she, you know, you have makeup on, it's fake. Nigga, you never knew what I looked like! <laughs> And all the girls have makeup on so they're all fake. She even said that. And also, in the age of 2023, at a show, a TV show, what girl, grown ass woman, do you expect not to wear makeup? I think he Make was it just not sense. into her. He wasn't attractive to attracted to her and he just needed to find mm -hmm. a reason to say that. I don't know. You think it's the attraction? I think he wasn't attracted to her, so he used makeup as a way to say I'm not attracted to you. No, I think he he didn't have an excuse. He was awkward. He's that guy. He doesn't know how to 
be with someone like I don't know how to explain this but I really feel like you feel like he's socially awkward yes he's socially awkward so he had issues um, maybe he was also I don't know insecure about a lot of things and you know how people get in their heads and then he needed an excuse because she was like what the freak is going on you are really giving him too much help <laughs> But recently, he posted his new girlfriend. Does she have makeup on? Uh, she's a plain Jane. I don't know if she has makeup on or whatever, but she's a very plain Jane. And everyone was like, oh, that's why. This is your type. But can we just go back to Lydia? Lydia. Oh. Yo, Lydia, guys. Not Lydia. Oucha. <laughs> Going crazy over no. Uche. First of all, she said, first of all, she was like, oh, shall we try it again? Yes, she said that. Why was it not mentioned on the re yeah. reunion? If Uche had said yes, she would have got yes. Uche. And also, my thing is, for Uche not to be at the reunion, that pissed me off because we needed everyone's cards on the table. He's a coward. We needed everyone. Arinan got business. He had a business trip, so he wouldn't miss a business trip just to shoot um, a TV show. Like, it was a big opportunity. So, unfortunately, it came at the same time as the show. That's a lie because they would have rescheduled. I know how these things work. So, I'm just like, but can we have it in the contract next time? Hore. Whoever commits to doing the show commits to being at the reunion. We are tired of people. Before this one, it was born. Can I give a It was um. But um, Jackie, Jackie and, and what's his name? Oh, Just George. Yes. What's his name? That boyfriend. Libo Marshall and whatever. We wanted Jackie there to answer for, for herself. herself. And she wasn't. She ran away because she knew we were going to ask her the questions. All the villains never rock up. Exactly. <laughs> so we needed Uche there for him and Lydia to look at each other face to face and be like, this is what's happening. Or oh, that confrontation that they had when Lydia stormed out and did the most. We needed that to happen at the reunion where the truth comes out. Number one, Lydia. Nonto stock about to go social media. Yeah. When I followed this producer, Luena GG, now you're following the producer because you want to see. Next thing you're like, oh, this is Love is Blind. Let me enter as well. And then you're like, I feel like I'm going to see someone I know. That was very suspect. I feel like, like, girl, bye. <laughs> the way she was like, he drives this car. This is you car. worst this. moment. It's like she was like in love. Mm. She's it's like you know when you describe your dream life. Yes. And like when you when you talk to like, your friend about this man that you just met, and you're so into them, and you're like, your friend, let me tell you, his house. Mm. It's a three-story house. Three-story. Koloi a... blue. Jam, the dog's name. Yo, the dog loves me so much. I bought this for the dog. Like, I think read the room. Read the freaking room. At what point did she think that would be okay with Aaliyah? Because already thinking, Hore, okay, the fact that I went out with this man that you are now dating in the pods, that's already awkward. Mm. You all she had to do was be like, Look, friend, I wanted to tell you. Unfortunately, the producers were like, We need to relax on that for now. But I just need you to know this thing is done, whatever. Reassure her in some way. The problem is, even if she reassured her, it would be a lie because she was still into Uche. Mm. Or the same reason why she kept quiet, she should have just shut up and said, I'm not gonna. As long as you're okay with it, but I'm not going to say anything. That's what a good friend does. Mm. Yo, uh -uh. It was so messy. It was messy. And then Milton and Oh, gosh. Oh, Milton. Like, you can tell that they, they were not compatible at all. You can tell. I think he wants to piss either the mom off or the sister. Yeah. Like, 
Milton is just trying to piss someone off. I should. Those are child achievement. Oh, he child still has a roommate that literally skateboards. Man, what do you know about that? I was like, wait, who's this? Oh, the roommate. I'm like, ah, uh, guys, guys, let's not. Uh, I was just like, Lydia. Either Lydia has this long-term plan for Milton is going to make money after three years. So let me just stick it, stick out. it out. Ah, ah, ah. But that's bad because the thing is know. when he makes money, he wants younger girls. Like, can you not please make it make sense? I don't know. Maybe Lydia's just at that point where she's like, look, he's a good guy. Yes, he's young, but or something. Oh, she wants to be Bob the Give me something because I don't know why Lydia would go there. I know she's desperate for love. She wants to be... We, what's her favorite line? She wants to be loved for her soul. <laughs> So <laughs> she thought. Can we talk to. about Iggy and Stacy? Oh, Iggy, Stacy. <laughs> well, <it's better. laughs> Why is it laugh also? Okay, wait. Can we start with Stacy's makeup? Blend, ah! <laughs> man. Please blend the bronzer. <laughs> that brush <laughs> is her own enemy. <laughs> and then we had that. <laughs> She's literally like, why is it getting brushy? I'm sure, uh, uh, no. Stacey. But on her wedding day, she didn't have it. Because like, she didn't do her own makeup. I like, hope you got the lesson. <laughs> I think now she knows because a lot of people on TikTok were having her for her makeup. So I think now she, she knows. Closed it down. Mm, now she knows. She's like, hey, I don't have to go so hard on the bronzer. But but who was wrong between Iggy and Stacey? That's what I want to know. Right or wrong? I think they both have their own shortcomings because my thing is, in the pods, Izzy was not forthcoming with information. But he was to the other girl. Because hey. when, when they broke up, she even said, Oh, he even has, he doesn't have much on any apartment, blah, blah, blah. He's in debt, so I dodged a bit. Like, oh, she said something mm -hmm. along those lines. So I feel like he really should have been, also, maybe not in the pods. When they met, and he realized, Jorge, Stacy has this house. Stacy has everything figured out. Um... And I'm in this position. I think that's when he should have really taken that chance to say, look, baby girl, I love you. Or I have feelings for you, whatever the case is. But this is my reality right now. Are you willing to ride along? Yeah. That should have been his conversation to be like, at least let's set the standard now. Let me tell you what to expect i'm here and i don't want you to be surprised Gausani, when i tell you Hore, you know i don't have a car or whatever the situation is do okay. you still want to pursue this thing he literally kept on saying i'm in a good place now i can even the dad asked, the dad was like, the dad was like, you know, Stacey likes expensive things. Mm. And he's just like, yeah. Because I also have a camera and, what's her name? Me pussy. Which one is Cameron now? The original, original love is like. Oh, the first ones. Yeah. What's her name? The black girl. Oh, yes, yeah, them. The black girl and the white guy. Ooh, uh, they are killing it. They're killing it, but that's because Love is Blind literally gave them careers. Mm. They are killing it so as a couple. Yeah. It gave them a lot of opportunities for both of them. They exactly. Like, hectic influence. So maybe that's what Lydia is aiming for. I think so. But they too. Emma Milton can't be an influencer for Chuck. Mm -mm. No, but Milton just wants to piss off his family. I'm Milton. Yeah. Yeah, Milton doesn't even care about home. 
<laughs> that part killed me where they're like are you sure this is the man that you want to be with for the rest of your life and he's busy there and he's opening a wine bottle with his i'm like lydia you really should have thought about this <laughs> honestly funny editing though <laughs> and also that part where they were having dinner and Lydia is out here pouring her heart out and Milton is eating anata but you know what John <laughs> like, he's not making eye contact he's not listening actively I know he could hear but like as in look at someone in the eyes and engage and be like yes I understand what you're saying he was not taking anything in and she's like this is not how <laughs> I was like, Akel, now it was Fagile. Like, <laughs> you did this to yourself. Jiggy, jiggy, yes, at the altar. Both are. Uh-uh. Yeah, I couldn't do it. That's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. We rebut the line, guys. Let's not lie. Let's not lie to ourselves. But anyway. Guys, I just changed into Flavia's top. Oh, go Baka! <laughs> what do you mean? And she's wearing the opponent. The old facts. No, no, no. We are not supporting this. <laughs> Guys, watch how at the end of the night, who's gonna be twerking? I doubt it's gonna be her. Hello, <laughs> haters. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh, friend, you're gonna be so disappointed though. Yeah, go but unke that Barbie top because we know <laughs> you're not gonna survive the whole night in this. Yeah, I'm taking Barbie with me. Definitely. <laughs> <in this> <laughs> Yeah. 
She's holding it down, but Flavia is like, I think I should switch lanes. <laughs> wow. I think I should just jump, no. jump ship now. No, no. <laughs> I'm happy as a trainer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's, it's half time. It's half time. It's the first half. And guess who's winning? Gongi <laughs> Bonga! Hey, babe. Are you Good morning, cuties. Um, wow. Wow, last night was so crazy. I got home at, what, past three? Because by three o'clock, we were by McDonald's. So it must have been around that time. And yeah, go Boca. <laughs> I'm officially a rugby fan. I think the World Cup has just changed me. And yes, of course, it's like obviously the World Cup will get you in the mood. But I just, I really liked how everyone was so into it and all the different cultures came together. Like, SA was just so united and that vibe for me, I don't know, it gave me that this is home feeling so i really really liked that and yeah i think going forward i'm definitely going to continue supporting um the box so they got a new fan in me uh hopefully we can do the same with soccer guys like a fun about fun of where you at where you at you know even banana banana is doing better come on come on you know but yeah so yeah it's just changed my stance on um, sports because I'm not a sporty girl but I think you know going forward it's just really great to just experience something different and it's it's nice to see when people are happy because then you're happy and it just becomes a kumbaya moment right Anyway, it's a Sunday. Um, I couldn't wake up in time for church. My alarm actually didn't go off. Like something was weird with my phone this morning. Like um, it went off, but the sound was not there. Like my phone sound wasn't there at all. Went on TikTok, there was no sound. Went on in Twitter, everything. Had to switch my phone off and I'm like, oh. Now the problem is fixed. So that's why I woke up late and I didn't hear my alarm. And yeah, needless to say, no church for me today. Okay, no church for me. Um, what I need to do is take that little guy. Where is he? You can see him. That little guy needs to go downstairs. Um, yeah, I need to take him down and then make a really good breakfast 
before I commit, do I have everything I need? I don't know. Because I'm only going grocery shopping um, sometime next week. So I don't know if I have everything. I know I got bacon, eggs. I got beans. I don't have avo. I don't have um, sausages. What else do I have? I have cheese. I have ham. So I think that's basically gonna be my breakfast, which is not too bad. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> 